Hey everyone, this is Michael again, and welcome to another movie review. And this review is going to be on Doolittle. And the film stars Robert Downey Jr., Harry Collette, I think that's how you pronounce his last name, Antonio Banderas, Michael Sheen. And it also features the voices of Emma Thompson, Rami Malek, John Cena, Camille Nanjani, Octavia Spencer, Tom Holland, Craig Robinson, and Selena Gomez. And of course, you know, the film is based off uh, the uh, books, uh, Dr. Doolittle uh, by uh, Hugh Lofton. And then we had uh, you know, the films. We had the original film, which came out in uh, 1967. It was a musical film. Uh, that film ended up uh, bombing at the box office, but it is regarded now as a cult classic. And, you know, haven't seen uh, that film, and I don't know if, you know, I will, you know, see it. You know, just, you know, don't care. But uh, then we had the, uh, the Eddie Murphy, uh, Dr. Doolittle films, the first two uh, films. Uh, we had, you know, Dr. Doolittle, uh, the 1998 film, uh, of course, which stars Eddie Murphy, which that film uh, was the first film that I saw uh, in the theater. I remember my dad uh, taking me to see it. I remember really uh, enjoying it as a kid. And, you know, I still enjoyed it. Uh, the film. I think it's a very uh, funny film. You know, you had uh, Eddie Murphy, uh, Chris Rock uh, voiced, uh, you know, the guinea pig. <laughs> but, uh, yes, yeah, so that's the first uh, Dr. Doolittle film, which came out in 98. And then we had Dr. Doolittle 2, which came out in 2001. Eddie Murphy reprised his role in that. And I saw, you know, little uh, clips uh, of the film, didn't see the whole thing. Uh, want to get a chance to, uh, you know, see uh, the whole thing at some point. And then we had the uh, direct-to-DVD uh, Dr. Doolittle films with Kyla Pratt in it, which I haven't seen. They look uh, pretty shitty, my opinion. And then we have uh, this film, uh, Doolittle, which uh, is a reboot. And I saw the film uh, today, of course, because the film opens uh, tomorrow. And you know how you know the theaters every Thursday when a uh, new film comes out, they give you know early Thursday night show-ins. And I always like to go uh, to those, you know, get to get a chance to see the film early before uh, it releases next day on Friday. So saw the film today, and I loved the film. I thought it was a good movie. It's a you know very fun uh, kids film, and basically uh, what the movie's about is it's about uh, John Doolittle, played by Robert Downey Jr. He's of course a doctor and a veterinarian, living in uh, England, and he hides himself away in his uh, manner, and, you know, his only friends are, you know, the animals uh, that are with him. His wife, it ends up, you know, passing away. Uh, she ends up dying uh, out at sea. And do and Robert Downey Jr., as Doolittle, finds out that the queen uh, is ill, you know, is sick. And he is forced to set sail and, you know, to go, you know, on this, you know, island in search of a cure to, uh, you know, to cure, you know, the queen's uh, sickness. And basically that's what the, uh, the film is about. But I really uh, like the story. Uh, very uh, enjoyable. Uh, the film is not great by any means, though. Uh, I thought Robert Downey Jr. Uh, really enjoyed him uh, in this role. Uh, Harry Collette, who plays uh, Tom, Tommy Stibbins, uh, he plays an apprentice to uh, Doolittle uh, because 
uh, give away, you know, like a spoiler here. Uh, there's scene at the beginning of the film where he accidentally uh, shoots uh, the squirrel. And the squirrel uh, later on is uh, voiced by Craig Robinson. And so he ends up uh, taking the squirrel to, uh, you know, do little. So, you know, he could, you know, help the squirrel and not let the, uh, the squirrel, you know, die. And, you know, basically he becomes a, uh, I said, an apprentice to do little. Like he goes uh, on the, uh, the boat with him, sets sail on uh, this journey to find the, uh, the cure for the queen. So. And then we had uh, Michael Sheen, who plays uh, Dr. Blair uh, Mutfley, who is obsessed with Doolittle. He plays uh, the villain uh, here. And he's like totally obsessed with, uh, with Doolittle. And uh, for uh, the voices, uh, you have uh, Emma Thompson, who voices uh, her niece, I think that's how you pronounce the, the name, who is a macaw. You have Robbie Malik, who voices uh, Chi Chi, who is this uh, gorilla, you know, who's always afraid to, uh, to do, you know, stuff. So it was really cool uh, hearing Robbie Malik uh, voice, you know, this character in this role. I still have yet to see uh, Bohemian Rhapsody with uh, him in it. And, you know, Mr. Robot, the TV series that he was on, just finished. And that is an amazing series. If you guys haven't uh, checked out Mr. Robot, Rami Malek is great in that show. Absolutely a uh, fantastic show that, uh, that Mr. Robot is. But I would recommend that series. It's probably in my favorite uh Probably my list of favorite shows of all time. So, but Rami Malek, he did a uh, good job here voicing, uh, you know, Chi Chi the gorilla. And then you have John Cena. John Cena, of course, is in this film. He voiced the polar bear. <laughs> it was funny hearing him uh, voice uh, this polar bear. And I know Cena you know, has done, you know, uh, other uh, voices. I know he did the voice for that elephant in the, uh, I think it was in the, uh, like the almonds ad. So, or the, or the pistachio, no, it wasn't, it wasn't almonds. It was pistachios. It was the pistachios ad where he, uh, where he voiced the elephant. And you have, uh, Camille Nanjani who voices, uh, Plimpton, who is a ostrich. Tom Holland, of course, uh, was in this, uh, voices a dog. Uh, the character of the dog is Jip. I find it very funny that uh, Tom Holland and uh, Robert, Johnny, Robert Downey Jr. <laughs> are uh, in this film, considering, you know, they were part of the uh, the MCU. <laughs> of course, uh, Craig Robinson voiced the squirrel, uh, which, uh, you know, Harry Follett's character ended up shooting at the beginning of the film by accident. <laughs> Uh, Selena Gomez, it was cool to hear, uh, her voice, the character here. She ends up voicing a character named Betsy, who is a giraffe. It was cool here, hearing her in this film, but really enjoyed the story. The story was very, uh, fun. The CGI on the, uh, the animals, I thought were really great looking. The, uh, Stuff that, you know, when they were out at sea, I thought uh, was uh, pretty uh, well done. And uh, the acting uh, from, you know, Robert Downey Jr. and everybody, I really liked. So, I mean, you do have uh, fart jokes, you know, here and there. But, you know, I know a lot of people have problems with, you know, with fart jokes in comedy films. You know, there's little, little fart jokes. But anyways, do little fun kids film. I loved it. So it was a good movie. And, you know, I would recommend it. You know, it's, you know, today, you know, I recommend uh, the film. You know, you take your kids out to see it. They will uh, really love it and enjoy it. 
Anyways, that's it for my review of Doolittle. Thank you all for watching. And uh, hope you all enjoyed this review. And definitely give the video a thumbs up. Comment, subscribe. If you guys haven't checked out uh, my previous videos, the Monday Night Raw review is up. The AEW Dynamite review I uploaded last night. Uh, if you guys haven't checked out uh, my review of those two, uh, definitely go check them out. And possibly there will be no uh, SmackDown review tomorrow. Uh, it will possibly be up on uh, Saturday. So, till uh, the next video, which will possibly be the SmackDown review. I'll see you all later.